kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the part eight of this video series, and now we will continue from where we had left in the part seven. All right. So now in this video, I am going to write the code for the. Uh, you can say now we can write the code for the videos fragment, and we will be able to fetch all the videos inside our array list, and then we will pass this array list to our adapter. and we can do some other things as well so guys just let's get started so here you can see we have the video fragment and here what i am going to do is first of all we are going to use this adapter video adapter so before that let's have an array list because we need to have an array list of type video and we need to name it as array list videos and then we can first of all initialize our array list like this we can say array list videos equal to new array list and then we have to send the array list to our video adapter but here inside our video adapter you can see we are receive, uh, receiving the context and then the array list so for this we can say get context and then we can simply pass on our array list Uh, videos and it is saying an error because here we are receiving like array string so we have to change that as well we have to pass on video and we can have we have to change from here as well all right so now the error has been removed and here we can simply say recycler view dot set adapter and here we have to pass on our video adapter all right and before that let's okay so after this let's just create a function get videos okay so and from here we can have pub private void get videos and inside this method we are going to write the code for our uh, in order to fetch all the videos using the retrofit library so it is very simple and very interesting so all we have to do is as you can see that we already had this api interface and we ha have this method that okay and also here we have to change it like response videos okay so we have to uh, access this method so for this we can say api interface api interface and here we have to say api interface equal to and it will be api client dot get api client dot create and here we have to pass on our interface okay so after this we have to use the call so here we can say call and inside this we have to pass on the this response videos and we have to give it a name like call video equal to and here we have to use api interface dot get all video so here first of all we have to provide the maximum result so for our, our for our case we can say 10 or let's say we say 20 okay then here we have to pass on the playlist id so for the playlist id we can create a constant so we name it as my const class and here we can say public static final string and here we can say like playlist id equal to this then we can say public static final string api key it will also be something all right so here we can say constant sorry my constant dot playlist id and then we need to have the api key so here we can say my constant dot api key okay so now we have this call video so we only have to use the nq method of this retrofit so we can say call video dot nq and we can have new call back so after this call back we are we will receive the uh, you can say we will receive the 
json file or the response inside this response function so how can we achieve and how can we access it so before that for this we can say response videos response videos equal to and we can say response dot body so here we can check if response videos is not equal to null all right if it is not equal to null then we have to use the progress bar dot set visibility and we have to hide it and after this we can check again if the response sorry response videos dot items if they are dot size is greater than zero so if the videos are greater than zero so we have to use a for loop so for this we can say in i equal to zero i less than response videos dot size dot items dot size and we can say i plus plus and then we can simply say redis videos dot add and here we can say response videos dot items dot get i and that's it okay so we are we are one by one putting the videos object inside our array list videos and after the for loop here we can simply say uh, video adapter dot notify data set change and if it is equal to null then we can toast a message that there are zero videos in your channel all right so that's it i think the code is complete but we have to uh, we have to complete the code for the uh, you can say for the adapter video adapter uh, so here after we open the video adapter so we were missing the on bind view holder from holder method so there we have to use now the video so for the video here we can say video video equal to array list videos dot get and position so now we have the video here object here and if here we can check if video is not equal to null then all we have to do is we can simply say holder dot text view title dot set text and here we can say video dot snippet dot title okay and after this we can check if video dot snippet dot thumbnails and if the thumbnails is not equal to null then what to do then we can say type thumbnail t equal to video dot snippet dot thumbnail and dot high okay and here we can check if t is equal to null then what to do then we can say t equal to video dot snippet dot thumbnail dot medium and if still if t is equal to null then we can say t equal to video dot snippet dot thumbnail dot standard all right that's it and after this we have to put on this uh, inside our uh, uh, the the thumbnail inside our image view so for this we have to use glide so here we can say glide dot width and here we have to pass on the context then we can say load and here we have to pass on t dot url and here we can say dot into and for the into we can simply say holder dot image view thumbnail all right i think that is enough for this video so here let's just run the app and let's see if it works or not 
let me see if i have made any mistake okay so one thing which i have forgotten is we have to pass on the api key as well as the playlist so let me open the post mail and from here we have the playlist id here and for the api key we can say like this all right so let's just run the app and let's see if it will show us the videos or not so you have to follow me so in case if you do not understand anything so you can always send me message okay let it finish and then we will be able to see the application on my phone in the meanwhile let me see if i have done any mistake so that i can rectify them alright so here we have an error and it is saying that we should have the playlist as fragment so here we have to make it like fragment then we have on create view then we have on view created and here we have to use the view so for this we can say view view equal to inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot fragment videos then we have container and false and finally we can return our view but for the this we have to use the new layout resource file and for this we can say fragment playlist all right so now we just run our application and let's see if it works or not alright guys so now the application is getting installed and after this you can see that these are all the videos or you can say all the videos here but they are after every page I mean there is very space so that is because we did not set the height of it like we set it to match parent so for the item videos here we have to use wrap content and now if we run our application and it will run very fine so let's just check it and here we are now going to open our application and there you can see that we have all the videos here all right so these are all the videos and if we click on any of the video so in, in our next part of the video series so we will do the on click of it all right guys so i hope that you have understand understood and also you have followed me right from the beginning if you have any question you can always comment down below i will try to answer every one of you so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye